I didn't start this thing. Stan Richards started it. But, but, but since they hit the platinum scene vice president, I thought it was only my duty to get up here and do what he do so well, right? <laughs> so what we want to do, guys, and, and I don't know where Tupac is. Tupac's right here. But what we want to do is not every day in this company, guys, that someone actually comes into the bit of Caesar vision and actually can hit the top of the compensation plan and top a position in the, in the company. And the seven scene, uh, platinum scene vice president is Stan Sharice Richards just off of believing in a system that works because it's a one, two, three step system and they follow the system and because they follow the system they produce a lot of leaders within this organization, would you agree? Yeah. Okay, yes, so, so I'm not going to hold the mic because here's the thing, at the end of the day, we have the best leadership in Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. The best leadership in Maryland. And it's not every day that you get a three to four hundred percent raise just in one night. Would you agree? Right? So they got something to say and we need to be listening. Right? So without further ado, the first person I want to bring up, first of all, this guy, I, I can't say I grew up with him, but we grew up around the neighborhood. He's older than me. Right? He's older than me. And, and he was a real estate, and he still is a real estate guru, guys. And here's the thing about the opportunity. We don't do this for a living. We don't go out and just do violence. We do it while we out. Do we, do we not? Yeah. Right? We change lives while we out. So what I want to do, guys, I want to bring up my personal friend. He's a real estate guru. If you go into grocery stores, you'll see his face on a grocery cart. I like to say he's the, black first, he's the first black man on a grocery cart, right, and on a bus stop, right? But without further ado, he's Stanley Sharice Richards, Senior Vice President, Mr. Carl Hopper. How's everybody doing tonight? Man, I tell you, man, I'm just really, really excited. Marty a little short. <laughs> I'm just really, really excited, and uh, I don't, I'm just speechless, man. It's just been a wonderful opportunity. I got started in this business about a year ago. I hit executive trainer, executive director in 27 days, national director in four months, and I hit senior vice president in eight months. Okay, so that's one year in the business. All I want to say is anybody can do this, okay? It doesn't matter what your background is. As long as you stay strong, you can get to the top. I want to get a personal thanks to Stan and Sharice Richards, my mentor, my business partners. I tell you, man, I've known this guy Stan for over 15 years. We've done a lot of stuff together. And I'll tell you, man, I love you with all my heart. Sharice is my big little sister, because I'm older than her, but she treats me like I'm her little brother. But it's all good. We cannot ask for any better leadership than we get out of these two people. Am I right or right? Okay? So with that said, I just want to say thank you, and everybody have a good time tonight. All right. Congratulations, Carl. Now, I want somebody to say something real quick. I called her, and she's going to say something real quick about Stan Sharif. Carl, you need to go talk. Right? Hold on for a minute. Hold on. Let me see if I get on. Okay, hold on. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right, go ahead.
give it up for Platinum Senior Vice President Tashina Pettiford. So next, the next person I want to bring up, guys, and you guys heard me mention a little earlier, that the ladies in this business is tearing it up. Am I right? But you know what, let me say this. Before I bring her up, this is what I want to do. Let me do this. Let's, let's do something a little different tonight. Because we're all family, am I right? And, and no matter what we do, we're blessing a lot of families and we're blessing our own families, right? And I always tell people when I first got this opportunity, guys, I was looking for the, the same three people, six people that we talk about the business partners and customers. I brought the people in that was always in my pocket, my mother, my wife, and my, and my sister, right? So what I want to do, and I, and I think it's so touching, I don't only think it's right to do so, because I know within Stan and Sharice, they love their family so much. And they are able to take them, take their family and produce something that they haven't grown up on. None of, a lot of us haven't grown up with gold spoons in our mouths, right? We grew up with the, the silver spoons that you get from Kmart or Mimco. Y'all remember Mimco? Right? But what I want to do, I want to bring up one of Stan's family members. I don't care which one come up. I don't care if they all come up. But someone needs to come up. And I'm, no, yes I do. Where's Sam at? Come on, Sam. Hey, here's the nephew that invited Yes, Stan. Stan. Yes. Now, I did not invite Stan to the meet in his own house. <laughs> so we're going to have him say a few words. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you. Wow. All right, first of all, congratulations, Stan and Sharice. Uh, you've always been an inspiration in my life and um, everyone in the family. But first of all, let me just tell a story real quick, okay? Now, Stan has always been a mentor of mine, so I every I have a lot of different business ventures and ideas, and I always shoot them past Stan first. So probably the first 10 to 15 business ventures, he shot me down. Nah, nah, I ain't going, nah, uh-uh. Wasn't working out, right? So what I learned is you got to peak people in the business. So I said, okay, I'm not going to get Stan to come out to the meeting. So, hey, he just wore this big old house. What better way to peak him than to use his basement? And hopefully, <laughs> hey, they, they see the opportunity. But once uh, Stan was actually my first business partner, and when I seen the excitement in him, him and Sharice's eyes, I knew that they were going to take this thing and blow it out the water. And that's what they did. That's what they did, and I, I'm so proud to, um, you know, have you all as rel relatives. So, uh, I wrote a poem for you all. You wanna hear it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's hear it. All right. It's all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. So I'm gonna be happy to be up in the limousine. Like, I'm just playing. No, 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 I'm just playing. But, uh, Again, uh, congratulations. I ain't gonna hold up everybody out here. <laughs> April Fool's Day, alright? It's all good. Love y'all. 